Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today you're joining me on my bed, in my bedroom, for a very chilled out video. It's been a while since I've done a sit down video like this. I've just been doing vlogs lately so it's really nice just to sit down in front of the camera. Um, and today I'm going to do a haul. This is the first haul I've ever done on this channel. I had an old channel back in the day which I probably did like birthday hauls on before but that was before I had my own money so now I've got my own my own money to buy my own things which is great um, and I'm just going to show you a few of the bits that I got while I was on holiday in the south of France I did vlog while I was over there just for a day um, so if you'd like to see that I'll leave it up there somewhere and in the uh, description box down below but I got a few little bits and bobs I didn't go crazy, I never do usually um, I try to not buy new clothes very often I mean, it's all relative, isn't it? But I'm comparing myself to how I used to be. And I used to buy new clothes, honestly, like every two weeks, maybe. Um, whereas I haven't bought anything new in, I mean, definitely since the beginning of lockdown, really. Except from one pair of jeans from Lucy and Yak, which they were worth it. But um, I bought a few dresses, a few other clothing bits, and then a few home style bits. So if you'd like to see what I've got, please carry on watching. So I've been after some shorts for a long time. Um, some denim shorts, because I've got fabric shorts, um, but I don't have any denim shorts that make me feel nice. So I picked up this pair. This is from Pull and Bear. So you should be able to get them in England as well. But obviously I got this in the Pull and Bear in the south of France. And this is how they look. They're just very standard. I think they're kind of like a mum style denim short. Um, I like the fact that you can roll them down if you want to. Because I really don't like really, really short shorts. It just, I don't really want people staring at my bum in the streets. Uh, it just makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. But these are nice. Still just trying to get used to wearing denim. Like relatively tight denim because I'm just used to just chilling out in really comfy clothes but I like the way these look I'll cut to a clip of me actually wearing them now so I'm sorry I don't have a very good setup for filming these try on videos these are the denim shorts I think they are pretty flattering you know um I just, I get, I don't know, I get stupidly self-conscious about my legs, which is ridiculous. But I think they make my bum look good and I think they fit very well. The only problem I have with them is that they kind of hurt when I sit down, if you know what I mean. Um, but I don't know how to help that really. So yeah, these are the shorts, kind of cute. I think they were like 18 euros, so not bad. While we're on the topic of Pull and Bear, the only other thing I got there was this little hair band type thing it's quite cute actually uh basically it's just like a little scrunchie here and you can tie your hair up and then make a little bow with this which is really cute haven't actually worn it yet but i'm looking forward to if the sun ever comes back because this feels like and the shorts i mean everything i've got feel like summer items and i mean you can't see outside but it does not look like summer right now the next two items I got are the same thing, but in different colours. I never, I don't think I've ever done this before, get the same item in two separate colours, but I love them so much. They're a pretty good price. They were $18 each, uh, dollars, 18 euros each, which isn't particularly bad, I don't think. Well, it's up to about 15 quid. Um, and they are these beautiful dresses now this one I haven't worn and you probably can't see it at all in the camera so I'll cut to a clip of me wearing it now now excuse how creased this is but this is the dress one of the dresses that I bought oh it's just so cute I think it's I guess it's like a baby doll dress is that right I just think it's super cute very very flowy it came in one size so this is kind of one size fits all or one size fits most at least um and it's super flowy i would always wear shorts under this just because i mean any any amount of wind and that is going all the way up above my boobs 
and this is the red one oh guys i love this color as well there was other colors i had to stop myself from getting tell me what you think but i think this red one could be dressed up for the evening i mean probably a bit easier than the blue one for some reason just imagine with a pair of heels i feel like that could be like gorgeous for a wedding even for me anyway i mean i just quite like a chilled out outfit so i would wear this to a wedding and i've got a few coming up so hmm i actually forgot to mention two things just a minute ago so i'm gonna add them in here now they're from the same shop called oyosho i think um this shop had i've never heard of it before but it had really nice stuff in there lots of muted tones and lots of workout gear um yeah it was a really cool shop but i got this i'm gonna cover my nipples because you can see them straight through this bralette but i got this little um bralette which i think is nice this this is really the only sort of bra that i ever tend to wear these comfy bralettes and then i also got these shorts they're like a I don't know if you can see they're like a blue yeah like a bluey color i guess um and i just think they're really nice they're super comfy i got them in a medium so that they're a little bit baggier um and i think they're really nice for either lounging around the house or actually just wearing them out i'm obsessed and the last fashion <laughs> i guess kind of thing um i mean a year ago i would never have thought i would have ever felt the need to purchase anything like this but um in a little shop called adventure go adventure which is in a big mall in the south of france we bought some face masks uh we bought there was two that came in a pack i think it was 12 euros so six euros each they're okay i mean they're okay I feel like it's quite hard to breathe in this material because it is very thick and before this we were using disposable ones but just not chucking them away every time we wore them which probably isn't very good but also it's really not very good to be chucking away face masks every day you know it's so much waste so it's definitely better than those but it is harder to breathe in these and um, I do want to invest if we still have to wear face masks for a while which is looking like we probably will i want to invest in in some that have like a little bit more space in the mouth and nose area do you know those ones that come out a little bit more and also go right under the chin because these ones like you put them on and then you yawn <laughs> it's like you're eating your coronavirus face mask so that's not really what i want it's fine for now but I'm on the hunt for a really good face mask that is reusable. Moving swiftly on from the clothes, that's all for the clothes. I told you this was going to be quite a tiny haul, but that's kind of how I like to do it. I don't want to be doing these huge hauls with hundreds of items of clothing because I just, I'm not going to wear that. And I've worked really hard to get rid of my ridiculous amount of clothing over the past couple of months. So I'm really trying not to build it back up again. But um, we went to a little candle shop that was, you know, making these beautiful, beautiful candles. And we decided to get two. So this is one of them. We've already started burning this one. I just think it's beautiful. And also it kind of matches my tie dye bedding, which is really cool. Um, I just think it's really nice. And having these sorts of candles on the dinner table while we're eating is ideal because the way our living room's set up, there's not really that much light by the table. Um, Johan especially does not like having the big light on. We like cosy lighting here. So um, a big candle like this is really good and it's gonna last a long time. Like we've used that for probably five days now and it's only gone down that much. And then I got the exact same huge candle, but in this green color, which is also beautiful, very well made. These were, I think, 18 or 19 euros each so not cheap but i do love the way they look and if we even like lit them together they just look so nice and they're gonna last a hell of a long time i'm interested actually to see exactly how many weeks or months these will last i've predicted three months johan thinks a bit less but we'll see um, and just to go under the candle we've got this little plate thing which was from i can't remember what the name of the shop was but it was like a tiger tiger style shop very scandy 
Um, and uh, it's just a nice little, I don't know what it's supposed to be. I guess a soap dish probably, but it works well to hold the candles so that when the wax drips down, it's not dripping on our lovely new tablecloth, which I'll show you now. And this is our brand new, beautiful tablecloth. Um, it's a very traditional Provence style and it's mostly orange, yellowy, reddy tones and obviously this is our new candle there as well. So this is our everyday dinner setup, which I think is really nice and I think the tablecloth goes really well with the rest of the living room. To go on the table, I've got these placemats. Um, I think these are nice. We were looking for some really nice placemats. These are about three euros fifty each. Um, and I think they go really well with the style of our living room. I'm just a little bit concerned about how well they're gonna last. Like, are they gonna start fraying? And also, I'm so clumsy and I've got no idea how to clean this properly. I feel like it's something that can't really be cleaned properly, so just praying that I don't spill my red wine. Talking of red wine, we bought eight bottles of red wine. No, wine back. I think we got two bottles of rosé. We got some white dessert wine and then the rest is red wine. And then Johan's parents gave us some champagne. <gasps> so we've actually got a really cute setup. My nan is moving house. She was getting rid of some stuff. So I got this gorgeous trolley from her i'll actually insert some footage of it right now and we've got all of the drinks on the bottom of that which i just think looks really really nice um i'm not sure if we're going to put anything on the top of it just because i'm really afraid of scratching the glass or whatever but i think the wines go very well down there and we will get through them slowly but surely a day before we left france we had to visit our favorite place which is the local olive mill they just do the most amazing olives. If you're an olive lover, you have never tasted olives like these. We got loads of packs to bring home. So I think we bought like eight packs home. And I also just got this little set, which I think I'm gonna give as a Christmas present to somebody who I hope isn't watching this video. Um, and it just has two packs of olives and a little olive oil in there. And there you can see the sorts of olives that are in there as well. And we've just got some extra packs um, that we're slowly making our way through. The most delicious olive oil as well. And it's all farmed locally. So I oh, like to stock up on that. We also got some chili oil and some olive oil for ourselves as well. And then from the same place, we got this um, shower gel. This is what my boyfriend used to use growing up quite a lot, I think. Um, and it's just an olive oil shower gel. I haven't actually smelt it yet. Oh yeah. Mmm. That's definitely got some other scent in there as well. Oh, I think it's got a base of lavender from what I can, from what I can tell. I don't know, it's all in French. Smells delicious and it's always good. We've got loads of shower gel that we need to get through for now, but once it's run out, it's good to know that you've got a backup. And finally, these two are some gifts. Um, I've got a friend who had a baby over a year ago. I think she's almost 16 months. And then my brother's recently had a little baby as well. Um, she's three months now and I got some little outfits from them in a little town called Gordon Which is also where I got my perfume, which I'll show you in a minute um, And this is my friend's little dress that I'm gonna give to her, her Her and her baby I guess, which I just think is so sweet It's so sweet, it's so lovely made as well Um and I just think she'll really love that. I'm just hoping that it fits, A, eh? and also that the sun comes back, otherwise this is just way too summery, and then by the time she gets to wear it, it'll be winter. And I have the same problem with this tiny, tiny little one for my brother's baby, my little niece. I love jumpsuits, so I can't resist getting a little baby romper jumpsuit style thing, and I just think this print is so lovely. Isn't it just so gorgeous? This one I'm a little bit worried about as well. It's three months. 
it does look kind of small but it should have some room because it's quite a baggy fit i'm just worried about the length and the fact that unfortunately summer is ending and i don't know how long she's going to be able to wear this for so um we'll see but i'm looking forward to giving that to them and finally my perfume i get complimented every time i go out somewhere new and somebody smells me <laughs> um on my perfume and it is so unique because it's from this tiny little place um in gordon and it's um quite a big perfumery over there but obviously in england we don't have anything like this this is my old bottle it's a lovely bottle as well it just looks really chic and expensive and it's not that expensive i think for this one i paid 55 euros which is about 50 quid so you know it's not cheap it's not a cheap perfume but this is like I, f I feel like I finally found you know when you're younger and you're just like spraying any sort of perfume that anyone gives you onto yourself and sometimes you don't even like it that much I feel like I finally found my scent this is it um, and this is the new bottle as well it just looks so nice oh I love it when it's nice and fresh and new and it smells oh god here we go with me trying to explain how it smells Oh, it smells so good. I wish there was smell vision It smells, I would say, like an oriental kind of smell. It's quite, um, I don't know what they describe it, but do you know when things have that sort of oriental smell? That's the sort of scent that I love, and that's what this has got. Hints of bergamot, probably. Um, it's just delicious smelling. It's not overpowering. And when I was there, the saleswoman is so fantastic. And she was explaining i was already going to buy something but she made me almost want to buy even more which is like you're good at your job um and she said top tip is that you shouldn't spray your perfume on your like decolletage area ever because that's the area that gets very hot and you're so likely to sweat it off what's much better is if you spray it once just on the back of your neck this is a strong perfume so i don't need much of it so i just do one spray here and one spray here and it should last me a long time i think i've been using a little bit too much of this i've been getting a little bit carried away but one spray on the back of your neck and that's the best place to put it for people to be able to smell you as you walk past and be like falling you out the door being like oh she smells nice and that's what i want <laughs> so yeah thank you so much for watching thanks for joining me on my first haul i hope it was okay um please leave a comment down below if you've got any sort of video requests i have got a two week isolation now so i'm going to be filming a few more videos than usual so that's really good um and i hope to see you next time bye guys thanks for watching